class time today we are going to revise the rules of interrogative sentences in case of narration okay so interrogative you know what are interrogative in which questions are asked okay questions are asked now how in case of these uh, sentences how we are making changes first of all just remember few rules that is the first rule is conjunction that conjunction is not used it is not at all used that conjunction is not at all used means that use hi nahi hota hai inme right okay then rule 2 set set to they are changing to asked or inquired they are changed to asked or inquired right and let me and make the students enter the class so rule 2 is said and said to is changing to asked or inquired so third is interrogative sign of interrogation it is changing to full stop okay it means that this is changing to so according uh, so accordingly we have to make changes okay right the rest of the rules of change of tenses rules of change of tenses are followed right next rules of change of tenses they are also followed so these are the main rules first four okay that are quite simple ones okay now the next thing is that if that is not used so in place of that if that is not used in place of conjunction that what we use use if or whether what we use we use if or whether so now next question is where we have to use this if or whether okay where we have to use this next is rule 6 now see this is the main thing okay so if the question or if the reported start reported speech starts with question words which question words for example what are the question words for example what when where how who who whose then so now in this case if for whether not used okay so now in this case what is there that if for whether is not used okay for example he said what are you doing he said what are you doing so how it will be changed he asked or inquired okay he asked what he was doing you subject first of all okay he asked what okay question will remain question form but it will be changed in the another form it will be replaced by full stop okay so he said he asked what he was doing you will not make it what was he doing okay just remember place subject first okay right for example 
he said to me what is your name he asked me what my what what, what my name was was past tense rules of tenses they will be followed okay so that's clear to you clear till here okay so next is next rule is if i said here if for weather is not used then where we have to use if for weather okay now the next question is this was now if question starts with you can say helping verbs all the helping verbs or all forms of be for example is am are do does did has have had then model auxiliary is also models for example can could okay may might shall should will would okay and they are and they are expecting an answer they are expecting an answer in yes or no in yes or no so then in those cases what we are using we are using if and whether if or whether is used here right so see this is according to the rules perfectly grammatical touch in these rules okay but whatever to other students if you don't remember this thing na you where we have to use if or whether i simply say remember these two things read the question what is there and see if the answer there are two cases yes or no answer and without yes or no right or write down without first then it will be easier if it is just for example what is your name question is asked in reported speech so what will be the answer my name is this okay it means that it is not expecting answer in yes or no right it means you will give some other explanatory answer to that okay so now in this case without it is yes or no so no if for whether used right and if you read the question for example are you preparing for exams it means that you will give the answer yes i am preparing or you will say no not yet it means it is expecting the answer in yes or no okay so now in these cases use if and if or whether this is the simplest one right perfect okay understood now so first of all what are the rules of interrogative sentences first of all that is not used in place of that then what we are using we are using if or whether said and said to is changing to asked or inquired the rest of the rules of narration they will also be followed okay and then if the question starts with question words for example what where when who whose okay how then ultimately no if or whether is used but if question starts with helping verb or with all forms of be as well as models for example is am are was were has have had okay uh, may might okay shall should can could okay it means all these are expecting answers in yes and no okay so in these cases what we use we use if or whether okay so what we use we use if or whether so right these rules are clear so let us revise some of the examples that i am writing on the board
first of all was the first one is he said to me who teaches you french he said to me one minute please who teaches you french now see first of all said then said to will be changed to asked he asked me it will be replaced nothing will be added because who teaches you french it is not expecting an answer in yes, yes or no it is not expecting so if for whether won't be used here so how it will be changed who who teaches simple present change into past who taught us yes who taught us french at the end full stop okay so next is she said to me do i not ex accept your proposal so see here now in this case do i not expect your proposal it is starting with this do okay form of b also right and it is expecting answer in yes, yes or no so if or whether will be used here so how will it will be done she said to will be changed into asked okay then it will be replaced by if or whether yes if whether i accepted your his his or her proposal okay right because this is simple present tense it will be changing into simple past tense okay and ultimately this is change of pronoun okay right he said shall i ever or get her shall i ever forget her yes he asked if or whether he said shall i ever if he would he would ever forget her at the end full stop right write down the answer please next is he said to me where are you going yes he said to me where are you going what will be the answer he asked me where i was going at the end full stop okay next is she said to me when will you come back from chandigarh yes she asked me from chandigarh so now i hope that it is clear okay let me ask few more sentences from you the first one is the policeman said which way did the thief go which way did the thief go it is simple past tense change into past perfect which way the thief had gone okay simple past will change into past perfect which way the thief had gone 
Next is, he said to me, whom does she want to contact? He said to me, whom does, whom does she want to contact? Whom she wanted to contact? One or two examples, you need more. Next is, I said, why are you looking through the keyhole? I asked why he was looking through the keyhole. Absolutely right. Next, he said, where I am supposed to go now? Very good. Where he was supposed to go then. Now we'll change into then. Next is, yes, yes, you can. Yes, of course. Next is, I asked the boy, what else did you see? What else he see? What else, yes, did you see, right? What else he had seen, okay? Next is, the mother said, the, said to the little boy, are you sorry for what you did? If he was sorry for what he did. If he was sorry for what he did. So now uh, next coming up to imperative sentences. Now in case of imperative sentences, what are imperative sentences? Yes, which show any kind of permission, order, request. Okay, this kind of feeling is represented in these kind of sentences. Okay, imperative sentences. So now in case of imperative sentences, first rule is that imperative mood is changed to infinitive mood. It is changed to infinitive mood. Imperative mood is changed to Infinitive mood, okay? And infinitive to is placed, is placed before verb, okay? It is placed before verb, okay? For example, he said, bring my bag. He said to bring his, to bring his bag, okay? Right? Next is, if it is showing any kind of permission, if it is showing any kind of permission, okay? So if it is showing any kind of permission, then how we change in case of infinitive? We use to let, okay? What we use? To let. For example, she said, suppose it is, Let us do the work. She requested to let, to let them do the work. Okay, no change of tenses. Okay, in only infinitive to is used. And you know with infinitive, we are always using first form of the verb. Okay, what we are using? We are using first form of the verb. Okay, so now if it is showing, you can say any kind of, you can say, Suggestion. Okay, if it is showing any kind of suggestion. So now then what we change? What we change in that? We change suggested or proposed. Okay, for example, here it is given. Suppose I said to him, let us go to the river for swimming. I suggested him to, okay, or that we should go for swimming. Okay, because it is suggestion. suggestion right, it is simple one. Right? So not much rules for that. And you will, um, <coughs> you will be clear with more examples. So let me ask you a few more examples. The principal said to the peon, let the boy come in. 
to let the boy come in okay because it is again a sort of permission so this is the reason why we are using to let when any kind of permission is there okay when anyone is giving permission to the other one then how it will be changed to let is used okay next for example the boy said to him let me work now to let him work then to let him work then yes. next is mohan said to his friend uh, let me go home to let him go home okay so next is the teacher said let him work ever so hard he cannot pass the exam so here it is condition okay so it for example see this write down this sentence the teacher said let him work ever so hard let him work ever so hard he cannot pass the examination so here there is condition or it is a for sort of supposition also we are she is supposing the thing if she would not have worked hard she would not have passed okay so now in these cases what we use might what we use we use might okay so note down what we use we use might ha huh? sentence is the teacher said let him work over let him work ever so hard he cannot pass the examination so how it will be changed the teacher said that now i said na might will be used that he might work ever so hard okay because it is a condition when condition is there how we are changing we are putting might that he he might work ever so hard he can cannot will change into could not he could not pass the examination okay this is little bit uh, apart from the simplest ones but why we use might i told na because it is a condition in the sentence na if he should not work hard if he should work hard only then he will be able to clear the exam so this is the reason because it is a supposition it is a condition so wherever condition or supposition is there what we are using we are using might okay next is the teacher said to the boys don't waste your time in idle gossip so here it is negative one don't waste your time in idle gossip so now here in this case to and not they will be interchanged not to okay so let us make this the teacher said to the boys what what kind of mood is there in the, it is advised the teacher advised the boys not to not to only then not to okay i told na to not means it will be their positions will be interchanged not to waste their time in idle gossip right next is the king said to the servants go away at once to go away at once right next is you said to him please lend me 500 rupees 500 rupees right next is i said to him let us go to the river for swimming how i asked i requested let us go it is proposal he is suggesting okay so not asked or uh, you can say requested he is proposed okay he proposed us let us go to the river for swimming where proposal is there then what we use we use we should ha huh? yes suggested also right that we should go to the river for swimming okay so remember where proposal is there then what we will introduce we will introduce should okay we should can be introduced there next is i said to him let me go home to let me go home then he said to the peon let the visitor have his cap he ordered it is ordered the peon sentence is he said to the peon let the visitor have his cap he ordered the peon 
to order the peon to to let the peon have his cap okay the boy said to him this is again done next is the judge said call the next witness yes to call the next witness next the captain said march forward my men commanded his men okay his men to march forward commanded his men to march forward next uh, the teacher said to the student leave the room and do not return again today ordered the okay ordered the student leave the room to leave the room and do not return again today not to return again that day that day or it can also be done wherever you are forbidding someone okay then you will use forbid forbid then with forbid you are not using uh, you should not use not we not me use karte forbid means negative thing okay forbid not to okay not to not to return that day come ni return mother said to me work properly it's not commanded work properly it's advised advised to work properly next the teacher said to the boys take out your books and read them silently to take out their books and read them silently okay so with these your imperative sentences are also complete we will have the revision of exclamatory sentences in the next lecture okay otherwise i have to uh, discuss chapter number 1 the fun they had along with that but in the next lecture we are going to take that okay no no need to write down this is just okay no need it is just for practice okay whatever you have to do in notebooks it has already been done okay and one more day i will also devote to paragraph writing okay description of a person okay because i feel that is new to you and you need some practice okay we will do it in the class okay so that's all for today